how do I carb load for a long run? Running 30 miles can be very taxing on your body. I don't care if you're David Gawkins or not, you still need to fuel correctly. You need to get the carbs in you as well as all the electrolytes, vitamins, minerals, and everything else. Running 30 miles will burn about roughly 1500 calories and let me tell you, you're going to go right through all your fuel sources. Today I want to go through how I fuel my body as much as possible to make sure I can achieve these big runs at the best of my ability. I'm sure the first thing you know that I'm going to say is that you need to carb load. Some of my favorite things that I like to eat for carb loading include spaghetti, of course, bagels, muffins, any kind of pastry. I have a sweet tooth and this gives me a reason to eat all that stuff. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Austin Marks. Right now I am currently training for my second marathon. My goal is sub 3 hours and 30 minutes. I do a lot of the hybrid athlete training so I like running and lifting. Anyway, if you want to see more of this stuff, make sure you like and subscribe, highly appreciate it. Anyway, let's get back to the video. So why should you carb load? When we eat a lot of carbs, all the extra carbs that we don't need, our body will store them in our muscles as glycogen. So these are like extra energy packs that our body can grab onto. So therefore we're going for a long run, we need a little bit of extra energy so our body grabs on these energy packs and we'll use it as fuel. I would say the biggest mistake that people make with carb loading is that they only do it for the meal before for a big run. So like they do it at dinner time on a Thursday night when they're going for a long run on a Friday morning. That's incorrect and you should probably fuel or carb load anywhere from two to three days before you start this big run. And it can be even longer depending on the distance that you're gonna be running. Personally, I like to start my carb load about three days before my big run. I typically aim for about 500 grams of carbs each day. I know this is a lot of carbs <laughs> and it may seem like a crazy amount of potatoes and pasta and all that other stuff that you're eating. However, your body is going to be so thankful that you did it. To put 500 grams of carbs in perspective, that's about 20 bagels. However, I'm going to show you what I do to make sure that I can achieve that in one day without eating 20 bagels. I will eat carbs for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks. I even drink my carbs. Like I said, we're going to go through my whole day here. So once it's all said and done, we do have the French toast, the eggs, we have a protein shake here, and then we're going to throw a little bit of syrup on, but once it's all together, we have about 75 grams of carbs, which is perfect and just setting us up for the day. Lonnie's carb loading as well. What you got there? Some eggs. So I get asked all the time, what supplements do I take? In here, I just take uh, three different kind of like multivitamins. They're from doTERRA, my wife uses them. I would like to come out with one eventually myself, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. Uh, Miss Vaughn is here. But right now I am also taking this daily, so this is a hybrid athlete blend, or are a uh, recovery blend. So it has all your BCAAs, your EAAs, it has your creatine monohydrate, five grams, and then it also has um, vitamin C, calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, chloride, sodium, and potassium. So all of your electrolytes as well. Perfect for after a run or even taking it during your workout or even a pre-run. So this is one of the uh, best recovery, pre, intra, or post-workout supplements on the market in my opinion. I think it also has a little bit of caffeine. Let me just double check here. Um, yeah, 61 milligrams. I don't know why I picked 61, but I picked 61. Today it is gonna be super freaking hot. So I have a half gallon container here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw about a scoop and a half. I will say that this stuff does have like a very sweet flavor to it. Um, so therefore, I always use like an excess amount of water with it. Um, now a half gallon is crazy. I'd say that I do like 24 ounces. So typically a four, so typically a full bottle, um, however I'll do like a scoop and a half for this guy. And then I'm also going to add some salt because when you're running, um, you are losing a lot of salt, a lot of electrolytes besides um, just all your other stuff that you're losing. And in here we have 111 milligrams of sodium. And the pre-workout that I took this morning, we have, I 
think. <laughs> In the pre-workout we took this morning, we have uh, 200 milligrams of just regular sodium, and then we have 200 milligrams of pink Himalayan salt, so 400 milligrams all together, plus another 100 there, where it's 500. And then I also add some pink Himalayan salt into it. So just to give me even more, the reason I like pink Himalayan salt is because it has all your other my minerals and vitamins that regular salt doesn't have. So therefore that's why I use this guy. Sea salt is also another fantastic one to use, but I just made another video talking about salt and how good it is for any athlete and how it is probably the best pre-workout supplement. And I go over like the science and I talk about it a little bit, but I'll put the link to that video in the description below. Anyway, my wife got me a Blackstone for an early birthday present, so we're gonna go put that together. Meal two, we got four pieces of bread as well as breaded fish, lots of carbs. If you guys don't have one of these ninja cookers, you definitely need one. Honestly, these little ninja cookers is it's like better than having an oven. If I want to make a steak dinner, I can throw the steak in there, the asparagus, the potatoes, set it for, I don't know, 30 minutes, and everything will be done in time. Super convenient, and honestly, just a complete lifesaver. Anyway, let's smash these guys here. So right now, we have two sandwiches, as well as the two pieces of fish, 40 grams of protein, and then 100 grams of carbs, actually. So we're almost at 200 for the day. And then of course, I'm gonna throw some ketchup on here. Can't forget them. So, about 10 carbs. Um, honestly, I'm not here for aesthetics. I'm here for performance. I'm here to get that long run in. So, I really am not counting calories right now. This guy here is probably about 900 calories. But when I go run 13 miles, I'm gonna be burning well over 1500 calories. So therefore, this meal essentially is just gonna be used for energy. Anyway, this stuff here, super good. Fish, I got on from Sam's Club, so another shout out. Midway through the day, I will have a Gatorade for a snack, as well as I'll have one of these in the morning and then one of these at night for a snack. So this here is 200 calories, and it is actually 40 grams in each one. So right there is 80 grams, and here is 40 grams of carbs. Uh, the one thing I do not like about the Gatorade is you have to buy the Gatorade electrolyte to get all those electrolytes and stuff. So, as you saw me do earlier in the video, um, I know I'm going to be running a very long time. I'm going to be burning a lot of calories, losing a lot of salt, electrolytes, things like that. So what I will also do is add some more pink Himalayan salt into my Gatorade. Just a little bit, I don't want to make it super, super bad, but just add some more sodium, uh, as well as some minerals like potassium, calcium, magnesium, things like that. Stuff that's found in um, pink Himalayan salt that is not found in regular Gatorade. But this bad boy here, I will have one of these in the morning and then one of these again at night. So all together, by having this snack twice, I'm getting 160 grams of carbs. We do also have Miss Alani here helping package orders today. She's just kind of putting that confetti stuff that you guys have in your boxes. She's putting that in. And you like touching the mic, huh? And then for dinner, we have chicken coated in breadcrumbs, as well as spaghetti. So once again, another 75 grams of carbs. <laughs> 